Hi, good evening. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you my new toy, the signal generator. And uh, the reason I need a signal generator is because uh, my ham radio's 6 meter band is not that good, uh, which is uh, between 50 megahertz to 54 megahertz. The signal is quite weak on my 6 meter band, and I'm not sure if it's my radio issue or my antenna issue. So. I bought this signal generator. This signal generator can generate uh, FM tone, uh, AM tone, and uh, 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 SSB. So it can tell me if the radio is performing well or not. Uh, right now I set to 20 kilohertz, and let's see how it works. Okay, the signal from the signal generator is feed into the scope. And then let's see her performance. Um, right now, I'm shooting 20 kilohertz at uh, 4 volts P2P. It says here 20, so and the 3.99 volts, so pretty good. And uh, the signal is pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's go to go further. Go to 1 megahertz. This is the uh, this is the. Uh, this is, uh, let's go to one megahertz. Okay, and uh, I'm not <laughs> good at using it. Uh, this is my first time to use this, that, uh, this type of sig signal generator, and uh, uh, I'm not familiar with the menu. Uh, okay, let's see the signal. Very nice, one megahertz. It says one megahertz, four volts here. Let's go to ten megahertz. Oops, this is ten megahertz. Let's see the signal. Nice sine wave. Nice sine wave, and ten megahertz here and a four. Let's go to the six meter band, which is uh, uh, fifty megahertz. Still very nice, and uh, it says five, 50 megahertz, and the voltage is three point nine. It's lower than uh, what I expected. Okay, let's go to uh, uh, go even for higher. Go to a hundred megahertz. Let's see if it's right there. Say one hundred megahertz, and the voltage is. 3.2 and here I'm expecting it's uh, 4. Uh, I think uh, the reason is maybe there's loss in the this coax cable. Uh, this coax cable, the this cable uh, connecting these two machines um, has resistance. It, it, it lower the voltage. Uh, at the lower uh, frequency, uh, it has less uh, resistance. For example, let's go back to the 80 meter band, which is uh, 3 megahertz. Um, let's see. This 80 meter band, 3 megahertz. Let's see. 3 megahertz. And the voltage is back to 3.99. Um, let's see if we can generate other. I'm not familiar with this machine. This is the first time I uh, got this uh, uh, this type of machine. So the um, the UI is not very clear. Let's generate square wave. Ah, the square wave. Um, not sure if it's a cable issue or if it's the signal issue. And uh, the easiest way to find out is lower the frequency. Uh, if the frequency become nice then it's most likely I have a pretty bad cable uh, yeah it's get, it's getting better so it looks like my cable has some loss let me go down to pretty low um, uh, this is this is nine kilohertz.
thank you hurts pretty good see looks like it's a cable issue the cable introduced some uh, impedance there uh, let's go to other waves uh, ramp nice sharp and uh, I can program this one this is arbitrary uh, signal generator so I can do lots of things with that one uh, okay uh, that's uh, that's it. Oh, uh, let me go to this is nine kilohertz. Let's let me go to nine meg nine. Uh, <laughs> this is one meg, uh, one meg, and this is the max for the. Uh, oh, it's still very nice. This is one meg hertz. That's the. Uh, max I can do for the uh, for this uh, for this kind of waveform. Okay, that concludes the uh, demo. So it looks like uh, my signal generator is uh, um, pretty good. So next step is to check on the radio, see how the radio perform. Good night.